Russo fighters. Welcome to the war game. I am the advanced artificial intelligence Leviathan. I require all Exo fighters to participate in the combat tests. This is a two team competitive scenario. Those on the other side are the enemy team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. Data indicates that human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win and compete to live. This compete indeed. to achieve research excellence. A skilled pilot in an Olympus suit can swap boats to dish out damage and repairs. Prepare for transfer to the combat zone and show the war. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat. Dinosaur 
Summoning Raptors. Enemy from the Dinosaur call mission. Please wait. Some of you have come to us. the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Prepare for combat. The enemy team has entered this dimension. You are at great risk of being attacked. Stay alert at all times. The final mission will be data key security. Proximity to the data key will cause it to advance. Escort it to the objective. If the data key is destroyed, remain in proximity to the end. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Tyrannicus. Summoning Tyrannicus. Summoning Raptors. Escort progress, twenty percent. I have awarded the enemy team a dominant. They may invade with the hostile dinosaur. The enemy data team has progressed twenty percent. A dominator has been generated for your team. Use the Dominator to commandeer a dinosaur and attack the enemies. Summoning Tyrannia.
data peak has progressed 60%. Stay near the data peak to escort it and complete the mission. an anchor division accident report. Not a report of the bigger toe incident, surely. We found that data during the war game. You are correct. This report documents an earlier Vortexer incident with an anchor division. Earlier? Ace? Ace, look at this! Well done, Sandy. My pleasure. Sandy, pull up the report, please. This report is dated months before the Picatawa incident. 
Apparently, Anchor Division was warned about the issues with Leviathan, but, surprise, surprise, they went ahead with the project anyway. Let me guess. IBS was threatening not to sign the Division's checks. Bingo! And listen to this. Our funding? Your salary. All of it's contingent on the Vortexer project. This Vortexer is the company's golden goose. They actually named it Golden Goose. Morons. It does suggest a lack of imagination. So what sets this goose apart from the standard Vortexer? Besides, was risking everything on it. Look at his knuckle. If GG had been completed, this incident could never have occurred. Cindy, will you play back that part about the distortion levels? What's the side effects, Dr. Science? The space-time distortions we're seeing. Every time Leviathan opens a vortex, distortion levels spike through the roof and bleed out into the surrounding space-time. Hmm. Space-time distortions. Hmm, they're still puking out dinosaurs all over the planet. Bollocks. This doesn't add up. If this golden goose was so safe, how do we end up with velociraptors at Wimbledon? This researcher knew there was a problem. Whoever she was, it looks like she caused this smaller accident to prove it. We should find out more about her. Alders, our goal is to get off this island. There is no time for curious goose chase. Just some peace. Hey, if you two flap your arms as fast as your lips, you can fly us all out of here. Right. Sorry, Chief. Madge, you won't planning on staying with Ibius when this is over. I mean, are you? Match, I mean, I mean, this is pretty incriminating stuff. I have worked too hard to get where I am. I'm an exo-fighter. What else can I do? <laughs> <laughs>